Today we're going to start our masks that are made out of something called plaster gauze. So everyone will start out with a mold that looks like this. And I will have a station set up where you write your name with a wet erase marker. You're not using your own marker. Definitely not a permanent. This is wet erase. That means when we're done, it just washes off. Okay, you're also going to need some newspaper because this is really messy. And everyone will get a specific amount of plaster gauze. Your first task when you get to your table, besides to lay out your newspaper, get your mask on it, is you need to take scissors and cut your gauze into strips. So I'm going to start kind of getting strips that are about inch and a half or two inches. You do not want these to be super skinny strips because that makes it really awkward to work with. And I'm also going to take these long strips and cut them in half. So the length I have is about eight inches or so. Make a little pile. And I am going to make some strips that are a little smaller. These are good in awkward areas, such as around the nose and the eyes. So just a few of my strips are going to be tiny. Most of them are this size, the six to eight inches. Okay, then keep these away from the water. So here's my face. I'm gonna put my strips at the top and keep the water bowl away from my strips because once these get wet, they start to set up and start to get hard. You don't want them wet until you actually choose to get them that way. So here's my face. Here's the water bowl and I filled it with warm water. Warm water doesn't make it work better. It does make it more comfortable on your hands. And we're going to start with the big piece first and we just dip it in the bowl. Make sure the whole thing's wet. And then we lay it on the mask and gently rub. So you're trying to take all those little holes of plaster or holes of the gauze and you fill them in with plaster. Repeat. Dip it in the water and we lay it on the mask and rub gently. And notice I'm going around the base first and then I'll work on filling in the middle. I overlap them just slightly. The little pieces, as I mentioned, are good for the nose area. Once you have your first layer on, you need to take a look at your mask and see if there are any spots that look weak. See if there's anywhere where you left a, a gap of any kind and then we put plaster over it. Make sure you can't see the white of the mask through the white of the gauze. If you need to reinforce anything, the best areas to put an extra layer on would be around the eyes and the nose and this outside layer because this is what supports all of your weight. So if you have extra pieces, that's where you want it to go. And if you watched, I'm sure you noticed that when I laid the plaster down and start rubbing, I start in the center and work my way out. This is to help avoid wrinkles. When you are done, I'll give you the location where your mask goes and you have to listen really carefully about cleanup instructions because we do not need wet plaster going down sink drains because it will clog it up. So we have to pay close attention to your cleanup instructions. And then this will go and dry and next time I will show you how to get it off of the mold so we can start painting. <laughs>